Hey, it's Steve here with webstarts.com, back with another video and a really important question. What can Brown do for you? We've all heard that question asked a number of times. Obviously, it's a big marketing deal with UPS, but I'm here to tell you, they can make your life much easier when it comes to calculating the shipping costs for the products that you sell on your website. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up within the WebStart store. Now, before we begin, if you find the video helpful, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you can be notified when we drop a new video. Let's go ahead and get started from your account dashboard. We're going to scroll down to the store panel, click on that to open up your store manager. And from here, go ahead and click the shipping tab in the left-hand sidebar. And you can see that I have one rule right now, and that's domestic shipping. It's currently set to free shipping. However, I want to charge for shipping, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this rule. I'm going to scroll down to the shipping calculation, and I'm going to choose UPS, automatically calculated rates from UPS. Now, if you've spent any time in the past trying to figure out what it costs to ship something, you know and you can appreciate what UPS can do for you in terms of calculating that shipping cost. The UPS shipping calculator that we provide takes the weight of the products that you enter when you create these products and then calculates the shipping based on this zip code where you're shipping from to the zip code that's provided when somebody's purchasing something from your store. And the only thing you need to do is make sure that you fill out these fields appropriately. So go ahead and scroll down, make sure your city, zip code, country, and state is selected. This is going to pull the information from your account if it's available. If it's not available, go ahead and fill that out. And then once you do, simply click update shipping rule. And that's really all there is to it in terms of setting up UPS as your shipping method. It really doesn't get much easier than that. Definitely the way I would suggest doing it. Now we provide more customized options in terms of calculating by weight, calculating by quantity, calculating by price, uh, free options, flat rate options, but it really doesn't get much better than this. Let's see how that works in practice. Let's go ahead and click our products tab. We'll go ahead and click on this t-shirt here. I believe I have it set up for half a pound for the shipping weight. So we'll choose a large red cotton shirt and then click add to cart. There's a $10 t-shirt. We'll go ahead and check out from here. And we'll scroll down. You can see that I have some test information filled out. Uh, a Seattle address, so we'll be shipping from Florida to Seattle, quite a long ways, pretty much as far as it gets in terms of continental United States. And for ground residential, that fee is gonna be $14.92. If I wanted to edit that delivery method, I could do so. Uh, UPS provides a number of different ways. Uh, ground commercial, it's a little bit cheaper actually when you're shipping to a commercial address. I'm going to edit that. Let's say I want it next day. Let's say money's no object and click that. And that's going to be 8586. So UPS actually provides all of these methods. You don't have to set these up individually like you can with the customized options. Uh, really allows for a lot of flexibility and really makes it easy to do. And that's about it. I want to thank you again for using WebStarts, and we'll see you on the next video.